Diana is a maya that creates mythological events to allow you to kill creatures, which can make you tons of money. So today we are going to go through all the gear and information for the entire maya, but before we start only 26% of viewers are actually subscribed, so if you aren't subscribed make sure you do because at 30,000 subscribers I'll be giving away 37 Chimera 5 books. Alright, let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the essentials. To get the most out of the Diana event you'll need a legendary griffin pet or any of the highest tiers you can afford, with an ancestral blade to actually find the burrows in the event. You can buy a common griffin and an ancestral blade straight from the Diana Maya if she is elected. For the gear, you should be using a Daedalus Axe as your weapon with 3 fourths Necron with a Warden Helmet for the armor. You can do this with less gear if you need, but this should be a good set if you're using Legendary Griffin. You can also use healing items like Wand of Atonement, Zombie Sword, or any orb to help you out. On top of that, you should be trying to get as much attack speed as possible, so try aim for around 80 to 100. As well as having good gear, you should try to do the event in party groups, especially if you have a Legendary Griffin pet. Being in a party allows you to get help killing the mobs if you aren't able to, and allows you to loot share any drops. So basically a higher chance of getting money. On top of that you should be using quality of life mods like SBE or Skytills which highlight Griffin Burrows as mythos counters and other useful tools for the event. Alright so for the event you will need an ancestral blade and any of the Griffin pets. Once you have these you can right click the blade and it will spawn particles showing which direction the next burrow is. Once you reach the burrow you can left click on the block and receive a loot or creature that will spawn. To figure out what will happen, there's three different types of burrows. There's blue, which will start a new chain of four, the lava, which will spawn treasure, and white, which will spawn a mob. Now let's go over all the mobs you can get in the event. There's a Minos Hunter, which has 500,000 health and a 12% spawn chance. This mob is very easy to kill, but doesn't drop anything good. There's the Siamese Lynxes, which are two cats, and these mobs have 800,000 health each. To kill them, you have to hit them once, back and forth, until they are dead. They have an 18.5% spawn chance and can drop a tiger plushie and a shelmet. Next up is the Minotaur. This mob has 2.5 million health and can deal a lot of damage. It has about a 25% spawn chance and can drop a Daedalus stick, turtle shelmet, tiger plushie and a few other items. Next up is the Construct, which has 1.5 million health. This mob can only be damaged every 5 hits and you should be using high attack speed to kill it. It has a 25% spawn chance and can drop a turtle shelmet along with other cheap items. Next up is the Minos Champion, with 12 million health this mob can easily be defeated by comboing it with high attack speed and constant damage output. This mob can spawn a Minos Relic, which can go for a lot of coins in the auction house. And last up is the Minos Inquisitor, which has 40 million health and can spawn 4 Minos Hunters. Try separate it from the Hunters to try focus dealing damage, and it has a 1.23 spawn chance and can drop a Karamira 1 book, which is one of the best items in the event. And those are all the mobs you can get from this event, and all the strategies and information on the Diana event. And on top of the event, Diana also has two other perks that she can have, which is Lucky, which gains 25 pet luck, and a pet XP buff of 35% more pet XP. Alright, so that is everything you need to know about the Diana event. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.